today, the prize will be awarded for the 38th time after being instituted in 1980 by the shareholders of Stora Kopparbergs Bergslags AB in honor of my grandfather, Dr. Marcus Wallenberg. In April of this year, we were pleased to announce the result of this year's selection process. And I, won't, I want to quote from the citation. The 2022 Marcus Wallenberg Prize is awarded to Professor Ilka Kilpeleinen and Professor Herbert Sixta for the development and use of novel ionic liquids to process wood biomass into high performance textile fibers. These innovations by professors Kilpeleinen and Sixta has stimulated worldwide research and industrial activity around this topic in the forest sector. The fiber obtained using the developed process have excellent mechanical properties which make them suitable for both textile and technical applications. The development of the process includes recycling of the used chemicals. The innovation is expected to result in a large range of new product and business opportunities for the forest industry in a sustainable way. The foundation is impressed by the research that we are honoring this evening, and not at least by the possibilities it opens for around sustainable textile production based on wood fibers. Professor Kilpelainen and Professor Sixta, please let me congratulate you for your outstanding scientific achievements. May I now ask the laureates to come to the podium to receive the awards from the hand of His Majesty the King. dear colleagues and friends. Our common project with Herbert Sixta and Aalto University started somewhere around 2008. I can actually remember one of the first meetings on this topic. In a break after the talk, um, Ismo Reilama from Metsa Group, he was the research director, came to me and, and, and said that Ilka, um, it's very interesting what you're doing, but can you, I now go back to my company and, and, and because we are living in a quaternary economics, and can I go back there and say that this is going to be a product within a year? Quite unpolitely, I actually answered, dear Ismo, do you think I would be talking to you in that case?
Wir sind 